Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 5 of Old World as Persia. And uh, yeah, I made a few mistakes in the last video. I'm aware of that. Um, I think one of the big mistakes that I've had is forgetting how production times work, specifically growth. I, I keep, like in the last video, I had the option to build a wonder for growth and I passed it up because I thought growth, you know, growth is mainly for your um, citizen size, which is their used for specialists and I wasn't really building specialists at that point I completely overlooked that growth actually also affects how quickly you get these civilian units it's the same with uh, training for military units I keep um I keep going back to civ ways where you just basically have and obviously settlers are different in civ but I keep just thinking that everything is sort of production based um so you know I, I passed up a good opportunities to get barracks in first to train units faster and to build um, build more buildings that gave me growth anyway we'll try and recover um also yes i'm aware that i have wasted some time down here i intend to just let babylon or babylonia have this i'm going to try and take out the dane camps i know i need to get settlers out i'm now working on it yes i'm a little bit behind i know i need to get workers out we, we do have a few more now they are coming um but yeah, I'm going to come down here and um, do we need this other warrior here? Probably not. We've got a worker in this city. He's for the correct city. We've got one in this city. We've got two in here. And we've got one in here, although technically that one is in the wrong city. So we're not too bad on workers at the moment. We've got one for each city right now. We do need more settlers. We're not going to take this guy on. So we probably don't need this slinger right away. So we could go here and get a settler and put him to the front of the queue. Will take a while. Can't rush it because we don't have developing culture. We could go and get a settler here. The... I'm going to wait for the farmer to pop because it's only one year away. And we're going to start working away and try and grab the rest of these camps. So we will be going to war with the Danes. Uh, let's end the turn here because there isn't really much else that I can do. Um, Persian paganism. We're severely ill. And the head of the... Um, Achaemenid family has died. Okay. So this is the Queen Consort. She can become disappointed with us. Or the family can lose opinion and she can become endeared to us. I'd rather not have us lose opinion of us. But what's the family's opinion? Yeah, I don't want to drop them into the negatives. So she'll just have to become disappointed with me. Um, this is uh, Dido. I mean, yeah, we can have peace with Dido. We don't need to get involved in any fighting there. You're coming over here to get that mine. We are going to need some more farms as well. Uh, we did get a farmer, actually. That's what was going on where now? Is that their set settler coming down? Yeah, there's their settler. I see they've got a city here as well. So, yeah, we don't want to be uh, going to war with them. Um, you've got a settler coming. Oh, I've got a warrior queued up there, apparently. Didn't realise that. Um, we'll keep the warrior there. We'll put the settler in. And we'll hurry the settler. Expensive, but needed. So, we'll get the settler. Um, do we have any other free workers? Not at the moment. We don't even have anything that we can do with our orders. So let's move in and get ready to attack stuff. Um, you, sir, can have that. Because the other good thing as well is... Um, well, that's a lot of units. The other good thing is as well is this this little twosome here are really strong. Especially with the Queen Consort in um, this... Is she in this army? No, she was somewhere. Oh, no, she's in this one, isn't she, up here? Um, this one. Yeah, I'd like to do some more stuff before she dies. 
So the situation that I've got now is that these units are getting a little bit weak. You can heal. So I think what I'll do is send... Don't really, oh yeah, they have got a lot of units, haven't they? We'll send you down here and heal. You can't heal, but you can hold the city site for the time being. We need to grab these city sites as quickly as possible. Uh, what do I have? Another unit. You can't really do anything there. I don't want to risk giving the site up. I mean, I could come down with you and attack if need be. Let's have a quick look at the scouts. Uh, we can come over here and grab the wine. That's some more culture. I know some people were very concerned that I, I was going to be building... Um, there's the other one. Let's get you doing a bit more stuff. I know some people were getting very concerned that I was going to be building a lot of Odians. It wasn't my plan to sort of like spam them everywhere or something. I just wanted to increase the culture a little bit in some of my cities. Doctors have warned that the end is near. Uh, our grandfather has died. And Danes are about to start sending barbarians our way. Uh, an influential Danish leader has arrived to inform us that her people are declaring war. As she lists their grievances, we cannot help but notice her rich clothing and eloquent rhetoric. Clearly, this is a woman who appreciates the finer things. Um, so, yeah. Well, we're going to go to war with the Danes anyway. That was the plan, right? So, we're now at the war with the Danes. We've got our settler over here. We probably want to... Can, well, can we afford to rush another one out? Not really. We've got another one coming, though. If we get this settler over here, it kind of frees up a swordsman. Um, we are going to be using a lot. Well, we're not going to be using a lot of orders because we don't have a lot. We can, you can go down there. So what we need to start doing now is taking these units out. Yeah, they're already starting to turn some of these ones into barbarians, which is a little bit annoying. Just attack with everything, because we do do rather good damage. And I can and should come down with this unit for now. And let's put you back there, and you can do some damage as well. We might end up losing that unit. I mean, I hope we don't, but you're going to stay here and defend against... I don't think these ones are directly going to come in and attack us. And I do have some other units potentially coming in to help. Not too sure where this um, Hittite settler is going. Have a free worker. Hanging, see, the Hanging Gardens is actually good. Because that does give better growth rate to all cities which would speed things up for us although that would have been better earlier on um somebody did advise also the ishtar gate but i can't get that yet or it's already it's not already gone is it no it's not um no it's not already gone but we could get the Hanging Gardens. We're definitely behind on score. And I know people are going to say, well, you don't have enough um, workers to be working on wonders. But we do need some. The great, the great Ziggurat would reduce improvement costs. But I think I'd like the growth. Because we do need to get more workers out. And we are going to need specialists. So we, are, we can afford it. We're going to do that. And Wonders will give us points. It's, it's, it is worthwhile. Um, you can grab the horses. And hopefully we won't run into too many Dane camps up here. Okay, let's end the turn and hopefully the Danes won't hurt us too much. Okay. 
Okay, the king has now died. So controlling the six urban improvements is now a legacy. Uh, we can accept a sizable donation or the uh, king of Hattie can owe us a favour. I think he can owe us a favour. We've got a decent amount of money. Uh, Centralisation or vassalage? Well, I mean, my usual option or my usual sort of leaning is always towards um, centralization for the science boost. And the family will like us a little bit more as well. Well, they're both like us. They both like them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think we'll just take that one. State religion. Um, yep, yeah, you convert to Zoroastrianism. That's the plan. You're going to head down here. We do have some potential units moving up, but let's deal with one disaster at a time. So we take out you. Take out you, the general of the slinger. Let's up your courage. Just straight up give you more attack. You're going to move in here and attack the camp. We do want to clear this out as quickly as we can. Got some orders left. We've got a um, U left. We could go get a garrison. We're definitely running out of orders, so getting some garrisons is not a terrible idea. We will have to buy the stone there, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to need some more quarries. We, we don't have any lumber mills at the moment, but we do have stone, iron, and food coming in. So it's not a complete loss at the moment. I'm just going to have a little bit of a look around with this guy, but I want to keep him here because he's a good spot for whatever the Danes are doing over here right now. You... Is there anything worth having in this fog? No, they've got their borders extend that way. Let's get up on the hill, just uncover it all, just so we can see where everything is, because they are close to my borders. Um, I mean, I might be able to play a sort of a, a passive game. We'll see how it goes. Right, so taking a little bit of damage from some of these units. So it looks like the um, Hittites are at war with the Danes as well. So, oh, the king has died. So now the son will give me a donation or owe me a favour. No, you keep owing me a favour. Um, this is, oh, the uh, oligarch uh, strides into the chambers late one evening. His cloak waving behind him. I simply had the best news. Um, so it's one of the cities expanding their industries. So, we can get horses for minus three orders. We can spend 360 gold to get honey. Or we can add barley and then he holds a favour over us. Not really a big fan of favours. I've got plenty of money. The horses would probably be more useful given our unique unit. But I don't really want to use all of my orders. So, I'm just going to wait on that just for a second. While I am... Um sort of fighting things and see what I need to do. So, first things first. Let's think about settling this site here. I mean, I think we probably want to take... Because we're going to try and grab this camp to the south. That's the swordsman. That's why it's not helping. Um... If I grab this site, it gives me both elephants. So that's the one to take. Um, who do we give this to? Mounted units start with Saddleborn. There are no horses here. Although we could technically get elephants. Um, build urban improvements on sand. I mean, there are there is sand, but... And then this is not particularly useful right now. Although the orders are nice. Um, we don't have the monasteries and temples yet. I think we just go for another rider's city here. 
Oh, there's another elephant down there. So three elephants. Yeah, having the three elephants and camels. This was, of course, it was definitely because if we can get camel unit, I don't know whether uh, we can all get camel units. I think we can still get elephants because it's definitely an event that allows you to produce elephant units. But yeah, that's that's really good. That's going to be a good city. Now this one is idle. I am going to build a worker here. So let's start with the workers. Um, so we've got eleven orders remaining. We can. Just get rid of these guys quickly. You're going to move across here. Attack. Attack. That's cleared. There is evidence in the barbarian camp of an ongoing relationship between the Danes and the more civilized Carthaginians. Our advisors fear the worst. One must tread carefully. Warn Carthage to be careful to with whom to ally. Um, we will become vigilant. Carthage lose opinion. Declare war on Carthage for its expansionism. Don't really want to do that. Ignore the connection. It means nothing. And makes Carthage like me a bit more. That's fine. Um, one of you can heal up. Well, not on this turn. You go back to that city site just to make sure we're keeping it claimed. So now we need to wipe this one out. This one is probably... Well, not necessarily the most significant... But this one is going to have iron to honey, sugram, wine. Uh, and then we want this one for the gems and the iron. Although the iron's a little bit far away. And then if we can, we want to grab that one. But that's my least important one. Um, because I do get the feeling that they're already... I do get the feeling that they're already at, well, I know they're at war with um, the Hittites. They may be trying to take that camp. Uh, let's just have a look um, at these events again. So, Anshan is the city that they want to put the horses in, which is this one. It already has horses. So, I don't need to get the horses in there twice. Um, I want the other event, please. Yeah, I've, I don't need to get the horses in there twice. So we'll we'll take the honey. Um, this is the oracle. So this is the... Oh, this is... Um, Dido. So basically, yes, it's for an ambition. Promote a unit ten times. Complete six festivals. I mean, we've got a decent amount of um, civics... So, um, and we have done some um, rushing of units. So, six festivals is not a tall order. Now, I'm not going to build the theatre because I know you'll get upset when I build buildings that give culture. So, we'll build another quarry. Yeah, because we always need stone. We'll build another quarry here. I do want to get some lumber mills and get expanding out in that direction. Um... Now, this is basically, I just, oh, it's, um, yeah, the issue is orders, because I've only got two orders left. By the time I get anywhere, I'll be out of them. Um, I mean, I could build a garrison, I think. Again, I'd have to buy the stone, and I don't like buying stone. We've learnt this, but I'm getting low on orders, and I'm getting more cities, so I think it's important. So, okay. We've got a couple of idle cities. This city is idle. It's not currently doing anything. Uh, oh, I built... I got. Did I get a warrior when I was trying to get a worker? No, that's a different city, isn't it? Yeah. That's the one up top. Um, so, you need a worker. Uh, we still need to do this um, urban improvements. We only need one more, but I'm also building a... Garrison. So once the garrison is built, that should clear that up. Uh, okay, so that's all we can do there. Uh, people convert into paganism. Need to sort that out. So this is our mother. Uh, we can lose four legitimacy and Zoroastrianism can gain 20 opinion. Or she can become disappointed with us. 
Let her become disappointed with taking the legitimacy. All Perja re uh, rejoices at the news of a new heir. Which family dislikes me the most? Not that it matters. We can get 300 gold, 95 stone, or 40 um, culture. I think I will take the culture. We're definitely behind on it, and you won't let me build Odeon, so let's do it. Uh, so the Achaemenid family is in the um, stage... Oh, stages a contest of politics discussing the merits of our highly centralised state. They request that the court send a royal scholar to defend the status quo. Despite the appearances, the Achaemenids assure us that the interest matter is purely theoretical. Well, we can't do and defend it ourselves because we're not an orator. So, we can spend... Yeah, let's spend the 600 gold. I mean, nobody likes spending gold. Okay, we have a settler. Um... Who is now miles away from anywhere. But we do have a settler. And I'm going to get this settler to get his ass over here. And we're going to grab this one. And then we'll need to grab this one. Now one of you can heal. Which is you. Let's get you healed. You can't heal. You're going to stay there. Uh, you can't heal either. Which is a bit of a pain. But we need to get these other camps sorted. Yeah, we need we need to we need to move forward. I'm going to move up here, hide behind the mountains a little bit, and I'm going to move up with these units. Um, I can also I, I don't well we've we've got a we've got a, uh, a a general here, so we could we could move down and attack, but I think I'd pr prefer to do it with all my units on the uh, on the same turn possibly. Um, I know, I know I've still got more warriors coming but it'll be fine i'm not i'm not going to produce any more military units i don't intend to produce any more military units um the ones that are already in like production let let them come but i won't produce any more um so let us we, we are going to need another one this one's going to be 10 years um i am going to can I afford to rush another one? If I... Yeah, let's go and rush another one in the capital. So we'll add one to the beginning of the list. Yeah, 660. So I can't actually rush one. I don't have, en have enough. It's not necessarily the fastest place to build one. I mean, that's nine years. And I could get one over here in ten years anyway. How quickly could you get one? You could get one in eight years. But you are working on the worker. Uh, we've got one coming here in four years, actually. So you're going to get that site. Yeah, I'm going to leave that site and I'm going to bring this settler down to grab this site first. So, settler for this site, settler for that site, and we need one more settler. Well, we will need more settlers anyway. So, yeah, you are going to produce another settler. Yes, it's going to take some time. We'll build a granary or something up here. Speed it up a little bit if we can. Still got six orders remaining. I could move to... I wish you could heal. Although, that said, I mean, I am close to my own border, so we can just go and do that. I know that's leaving that site empty but it'll be fine because we can nip back there um you cannot heal at the moment but that's okay and yes i can come down with you but i'll probably do that on the next no not you you you're too far away and you're kind of defending from this one so i think that's fine um we can afford to give you a promotion though or uh, put a general in there uh, what would you get? Oh, you can heal in neutral territory and do pl an extra 10 attack. Yes. So, make sure we've got generals on these units. One order remaining. I don't think there's anything I can do with that one order. Let's just have a quick look at the scouts. You're staying there so you can see what's going on. Let's move you up in this direction. Just try and uncover a bit more of the map. Okay, I think we're going to do one more turn because I'd like to try and at least clear one of these Dane camps out. Uh, Hattie is now at peace with the Danes. Reports of a tribal raid from a Danish outpost near S uh, Chate. Cyrus, Cyrus Chate, Cyrus Chate, Cyrus Chate. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? 
Um, so this is one of our... Oh, this is a member of the Hittite court. Arrives with a special request. He wishes to remain in pass as a foreign ambassador. Um, so, um, Hattie would gain some opinion of us for 80 years. But Parcel would dislike us. Or Hattie can lose some opinion and we gain legitimacy. Could lead to future events. We'll, we'll try it. Right, we need a new general for this army. There's some idle candidates. Counterattacks during melee. Well, if you're just going to... Actually, if you're just going to sit there and babysit that... We probably don't need to put you in. But let's keep generals in anyway, for safety's sake. So you are moving down to this site. Right, we need to deal with these guys. Now, we don't want to attack across the river. You're going to move up here. You're going to move up here. Ranged attack. Melee to the face. Um... You can't. You can get close enough to hit, but not close enough to kill. You can get close enough to kill. Um, but now we have no orders. I'm going to buy an order just to kill that unit off, because that's one unit fewer that's going to can attack us on the next turn. Um, in fact, I'm going to buy one more order because I do have a few, and I'm going to heal that unit back up to full health. I might as well. Um, if I'm going to grab. It might make more sense just to grab that one, actually, and it, then it's safer. Because I've got a unit guarding this one. And then this unit here, he can come down and grab this one. I think that's going to be the plan. Not sure whether Babylon have grabbed that yet. I don't have any orders left, which is now annoying because I have that free worker. See, if I, well, I, don't, I don't have land consolidation yet. But the grove would be nice because that would give me growth. But can probably get a... Yeah, if I go and build the farm on the wheat, that'll give us some growth. But I'll have to do that on the next turn. And yeah, I just I can't really do anything else with anybody else. Okay, again, it's not been perfect play. I appreciate that. But we've grabbed another city site. We're about to grab uh, another one. This one's going to be easy to grab. And that is a good one. This one shouldn't be difficult to grab either, because we'll have three or four strong units that can come down and pop this site off. Again, we'll need another settler. If I get all of those city sites, I'll be happy. This one might be nice, but let's be honest, this is literally right in Carthage's borders. If they haven't taken it already, probably won't be long before they do. It's a nice spot, though, I'll admit. We'll have a look at this one as well. But yeah, I think that gives us a good number of cities. I am now climbing up in points. I'm at 10. I was at the bottom. I'm now in second place. And we've still got a wandering construction that'll give us two more points. And we'll get another point when this city is settled. And another point when this city is settled. And another point when that city is settled. And that's before any of them level up in culture. Um, the six urban improvements legacy will finish in... There is a worker somewhere building a garrison i think yeah here so in two years when the garrison is finished that legacy will complete i do need to start working on some of the festivals can probably do that in in these cities once the work the warriors have finished uh we are one turn off from spoke wheel we're getting some extra orders coming in um food is pretty bad at the moment so that's got, that's actually going to make it difficult for us to get more settlers so i definitely need to get some more farms in as quickly as possible um so i wasn't keeping my eye on the actual total amount of food that i had but i know whenever you buy something it drives the price up in the future and i think unlike stuff like stone and iron where you tend to use it all the way throughout the game food is i find not quite as important later on because you're not building settlers so maybe if I buy a little bit of food now, it won't. It'll drive the price up, but it won't be that big a deal in the long run. Obviously, by driving up the price of stone and iron is bad, um, but not so much on food. So not overly concerned by that. Um, so yeah, I'll I will work through it. 
So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do consider leaving a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And as always, a big thank you to all of those people who leave your comments, suggestions, feedback, observations, criticisms, and all the usual in the comments section. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.